or Matthew 10 verse 34. Christ can explain to you some of those ways why the narrow gate is the path although it's narrow. Read. That's the book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Christ said when I was came to an earth I didn't come to establish any peace. He said we don't know which one is the real one. My brother, yeah. if if we're talking about Christ, if we need to know anything about Christ, where do we go to get our, res uh, our response or answer? Any books or the Bible? But if we need to know, listen to what I'm saying. If we need to know about God and his son, Christ, where should we go to learn about them? In different other books or the Bible? In the Bible. In the Bible. So you, the brother was telling you, uh, do you know, you know, you say your statement, we don't know which one is the true one, right? But, like you got Israel on the shirt right there. Jesus was black, you would understand. Back in the biblical days. You say what? Jesus was black back in the biblical days. He's still black. Yeah, yeah. Not just in the biblical day. He doesn't turn, he doesn't, we, 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 he wasn't black and then turned into white. No, he's still the, you know, let's go to Revelation. Okay, let's go, first go to John 7, 38. John 7, 38, because at the end of the day, if we need to speak about the truth, we have to believe what the Bible is saying, because the Bible is true, right? Everything in this book is true. Am I right or wrong? Read it. This is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 38. Read it. He that believeth on me. What's the Bible say? He that believeth on me. This is Christ speaking. He said, whoever believeth in me, as the scripture hath said, the way the scriptures say, out of his belly, how will your mind shall flow rivers of living water. There's going to be wisdom coming out. And we're going to bring some of those wisdom. Go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. It's the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The what? The revelation of Jesus Christ. We are about to revealing Jesus Christ. Why do Christ feel the need at that time to reveal to John that used to be one of the disciples the way he looks like? Why do you think he have to, he have to, you know, judge him, you know, to reveal to a man that already know who he looks like? Look at John. Watch out, watch out. I'm a little bit poor because some of those shots, the, 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 the thing are very, Samuel are very long. We don't want you to get hit in the back of your head, sir. Okay, because we don't want to see. So my question, you know John, the revelator. He was one of uh, Christ's disciples. As a matter of fact, his favorite disciple. Why do Christ have to reveal to John, feel the need to reveal to John how he looks when he already know what he looks. Why do you think so? The brother said he doesn't have a clue. We, 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 we appreciate your answer. Go, hold that, go to Matthew 24, I believe verse now, or verse 14. Bring it out. When he said there's sure right, false Christ. Mm -hmm. okay. This is why, this is why Christ have to say to John that already know what he looks like to put that in the book, read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 24. Uh-huh. For there shall arise false Christ. What does Christ say? For there shall arise false Christ. You see what Christ said? There's gonna be the time, there's gonna arise false Christ. If there's gonna be arise false Christ, this is why, go back now to Revelation 1 and 1. This is why Christ had to reveal to John the way he looks like and tell and told him to Write it down in this book for us today. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of the revealing of Jesus Christ. Verse 11. Verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Mm -hmm. And what thou seest. What you see, John. Write in a book. Put it in the book. Write what you see about me in the book. Why? Because... And why? Why he had to told John to write it in the book? Not only as a record, but because of what he told me, because he already knew there's going to be some people that's going to come on earth claiming to be him. Okay? Verse 14. Verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. 
Christ said what? His head and his hairs were white like wool. His hair and his hairs and his face were white in color, wool and texture. My question to you, who has woolly hair on earth today? Whose race of people have woolly hair? Woolly hair. Like 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 a sheep sheep oh, sheep. Oh, okay. sheep hair. Who has the type of sheep hair? Is it the white man or us? No, the white man has a a a, a stringy a, 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 a hostel hair. Wooly is another word for nappy, kinky. What's the other word? Nappy. Yeah, okay, nappy, see. kinky. You ever see the sheep? The way his his hair his, his hair is uh uh thick, thick and uh wooly. Because the white man's hair is like a, a hostel hair. Drop, you know, down gravity. But our hair, we the only people have the hair that defy gravity. He go up like a tree. That means our hair is alive. His hair is dead. That's why his hair always hanging down. So the woolly hair is the black man's hair. Read it again. His head and his hair were white like wool. Uh huh. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The reason why I say Christ's uh, uh, eyes was red because when you read Genesis 49 and 12, it was prophesied that he, he, he's going to drink wine. Whenever you know the black man drinks some alcohol, the whiteness of your eyes turn red. That's why he says that. All right, read. And his feet. And his like, what? And his feet like unto fine brass. What's the, what's the color of brass? Brass, B R A S S. What color it is? Like, look, look, the, the ear and look, look, the thing in your finger. That's the color of brass. Oh, yeah. A little bit darker than that. Yeah, right. Isn't it close to your color or the color of the white man? Color of the white man, bro. No, it's closer to your color. Me right here? Yeah. Yeah. This is not white like No, but you said the color of the white man. I ask you, this color, is it closer to your color or the white man color? Okay, yeah. remember brass is even darker because this is a golden, goldish, you know, color. Read again. His feet. And his feet like unto fine brass. His Christ's feet looks like a fine brass, which is already brown. As if they burn in a furnace. Anything that you burn in a furnace, after it's finished to burn, what color does it become? Black. Black. That's right. So you telling me, so... So, do you, do you want to withdraw your statement? We don't know which one is the, is the, is the right one. Hey, what was it, what he said, officer? Black, 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 So now, we, we don't we're not saying, we we not saying that exactly the hat cross look like, yeah. but according yeah. to the record we just read, which one is, you know, is, you know, is depicted what we read? This one or that one? So, so if Christ was working down the street today, well, what what type of race do you refer to him? An Asian man, a so-called black man, or a so-called white man? If Christ was working the earth today, according to the scripture. They know about sin. Huh? They know about sin. No, no, I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. If, according to the scripture, if Christ were to walk down the street today, how would they refer to him? As a white man, Asian man, Probably or a so-called black, black man? Probably black man. So black men. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So why, why do? My, now my question to you, my brother. We go all the religion, religion, religion churches in the world. Do they have a black Christ in the walls and their pamphlets? But they do have one of those pictures. Why is that? That's a good question. Why is that? Give me a second question. Ten and four. Because you know why? This uphold white supremacy. That's and this right. one, when they hide it, is to keep you down. Because when you see those people, you see them as the superior race. race. Because God looks like them, Christ looks like them, the disciples, prophets looks like them, even the angels looks like them. So that's why a white folks can work in our neighborhood any time of the day 
nothing wrong will happen to him. He will not get robbed. He will not get, you know, pull, gun pull, you know, pull gun and, and rob him. Nothing will happen to him. But you, this is your block. This is your neighborhood. You more fearful in your own neighborhood than the white man. Why? Because when we see him, we're not saying, you know, for us to attack them, you know, when they're in our neighborhood. But the point is, the mindset of our people, they show a lot of reverence, reverences and honor to this man than their own kind. That's right. Read. This is the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. Mm -hmm. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Uh, no, the, but do you know who you are? But uh, before you go, do you know who you are according to the Bible, which is important? Because knowing that Christ is a black man is good. Right, right, you can right. teach your kids, your wife, your cousin. But at the end of the day, if you don't know who you are, this is not gonna serve you nothing. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yes, I do know who I am. Who you are according to the Bible? I'm a black African American man. No, there's no black African American man in the Bible. No. Not stated in there. No, no. I looked at that. I looked at that earlier. But, but American but, black Judas. So that that's your God-given name. That's the right. same man that takes your your Christ and your God image and replace it by Him. He also replaces your name, the name that God gave you. <laughs> Judah mean God's praise. There's nothing praise about black American. That's the name of our oppressor that label us the same way our last name today is not our last name of our four parents when they when they snatch us from the, the land of africa today most of them carry a white man last name it's the same way when it's come to our race this man took away the name israel which is a prince that has power with god and name you african-american west right. indies black Puerto Rican, Cubans. Give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. I'm an English. My last name is English. I'm an English. You say what? My last name, your last name, stand for something. What is your last name? Fulton. Huh? Fulton. This is an English name? Yes, right. Meaning what? That, that so the oppressor still own you. That's you right. You still a property of that man. The only difference today, you don't have shackle and a uh, 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 chain in your neck and your and your feet. Mm -hmm. But whenever you speak to this man and then he asks you what is your name, and then you name his last name, he understood that you still in sleep. Right. You you're not awakening yet to the people that you are, which is the people of this book. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Remember you Bring from the travel what? So, who do you think the, the people of Judah in the Bible look like? They gotta be black. Okay, let's find out. Read. Judah morning. And the gates there are the language. Judah morning. There's a so called black American. The Bible say what? And Judah morning. Uh huh. And the gates there are language. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Read. Out to the ground. He said, Judah, they are black. Onto the ground. What verse that? That's what right. Reading? What is he reading? Read it. Call it and read it again. This is the King James Bible. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Jeremiah 14, and verse 2. But you're not going to see black and NIV. No, no, no. They removed it. They're going to say dark. And some of them, they don't even put the word dark, depending on you know, the, the translation. This is another crafty counsel again. It, you know, this man been saying because anything that can bring you back to this book, it kind of, you know. Okay? Read it again for him. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, and verse 2. Bring uh -huh. it out. To the morning. And the gates they are of language. They are black unto the ground. He said they are black unto the ground. Give me, uh, with, uh, uh, Solomon. Mm -hmm. You, you, know, you know King David in the Bible? I know the Bible, a little bit about the Bible. But, but you heard about the, the story about King David. He killed Goliath. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has a son. I can't put it all together, but I Yes, know. but but this story a lot of people know. That's why I refer to him first. Because he was the one, as a young age, killed giant. the giant. Before he died, his son Solomon was the next one in the in the in the, in the, in the throne. 
Look as his son looks, say he looks like. And, he, and his son come from the tribe of Judah as well. And, and David, read again. Read. This, this is the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. This is, a, this is another one. I am bread. What does Solomon say? I am bread. Read verse 1. Verse 1, the song of songs, which is Solomon. Solomon said, this song, this is my song I wrote. Verse 5. Verse 5, I am black, but comely, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the text of Kedar. You see, the people of the book, because the reason why I read those color scripture for you in this, in this Bible, okay. one of the doctrines this man being spread among our people is to make them believe this book, he's the one that wrote it. A lot of times people, they don't want to associate themselves with this book. They say this is a white man's book. How, how black this book can be? If this book was really the white man's book, don't you think he will remove those color scripture? That's right. He That's will not put right. it in there because remember, that will go against this demon right here. If he, if he was the one who you know, wrote this Bible, that will go against this propaganda, which is the white man. So that tells you this thing has nothing to do with this Bible. This is our history book. Bring Every time February, the month of February come around, they're talking about black history. This is your true black history. That's right. Right, All right my brother? Oh, yeah. I'll but see again. So I get a little time, I'll talk with you. We have a we have a school, we have a place that we come again in West Haven. Yeah. Good you know. Uh, whenever you you feel ready, we're gonna be here every Saturday around okay. this time. Okay. Check, check with us. Yeah, you All see right? me next Saturday. In, in the back of the fly, we have website, our yeah, website. Just, you can go on YouTube just, and watch many of our classes yeah, to that's teach that's you that's what to do and not what to do when the black Christ cracked the sky in the last day. You won't be put to death. This is why we're here. Okay. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.